Do not be alarmed. This is not a drill. Whoa, did you see that crazy spinning action? This way. This way. Yes, we are back. I'm back. I'm Josh. This is Pocket Meeple, and this has been a long time since we've done one of these. Uh, almost a year now? So, I just want to say, one, I apologize. Two, no apologies, because we're just going to keep this train going. Life's been real busy. I, unfortunately, kind of fell off the train here a bit. But, you know what? None of that really matters, because there's some great, great games that are out that you all need to see me suck terribly at. So that is what we're gonna do with this first one, right? Huh? Huh? Here. Yeah, I can still figure out how cameras work. We're playing Love Letter. Love Letter, which is a card game by Seiji Kanai. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm stalling because I am trying to Google the game while I record this video, uh, came out in 2012. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, yeah, and it's a really good, simple card game. It is one of the, I don't want to say it was like a pioneer or anything, but it was definitely a relatively like success, one of the first like relatively successful uh small games where it's like oh you can make this tiny little card game that fits in your pocket and it's super fun to play and it doesn't have to suck uh so that's what love letter basically is you are all you are basically suitors let's see if i can get this right you are suitors trying to win the heart of the princess there we go got it first try um yeah it's pretty fun and the ios version which is what we're playing here it's pretty good at uh, the little bare bones, but the presentation of it, not too shabby. Um, so let's take a peek, see, and oh, 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 see that right there at the bottom? Credits. Oh, you know what we're doing right now. Credits. Look at that. So develop my Nomad Games. Thank you very much, Nomad Games, for making this. And look at a pretty, pretty decent crew. Uh, course published by Asmody Digital, because what's not these days, am I right? Am I right? Uh, definitely not this video, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, let's just hop on in, and we're just gonna do a classic single player. Oh, Seiji himself, the designer of the game, Seiji Kanai is gonna be playing with us, apparently, along with our best friend Donatello. He's, he's great. Uh, always livens up parties, that, that Donnie. So... We'll play a three-player game. I think that sounds good. Oh, you can't adjust the tokens needed to win. We're actually going to decrease that. Let's make it four. Uh, you basically just play... Oh, did that re... I see how it is. Okay. Well, I guess Seiji doesn't want to play anymore. Instead, Halbert, who's a way cooler guy, let's just be honest, is going to play with us instead. Uh, so you play Love Letter over a series of rounds, very short rounds, and it's the, uh, in a three-player game, it's typically the first to five, I believe, wins. It can sometimes drag a little bit, especially if everybody keeps winning back and forth, so we'll just drop it to four, just to make it a little, little snap here. So we're gonna jump right in, oh my god, what a piece of crap. What is this crap? So, in Love Letter... This is wonderful, by the way. What a... Mm. Mm. Uh, in Love Letter, there's a small deck of cards. It's like 12 or 15, I think 15 cards. Uh, and they are numbered between 1 and 8. The lower numbered cards only have, uh, or have lots of copies of them, such as like the guard, who is number 1, has 5 copies of him, while the other ones, like 2s, 3s, 4s, and 5s, have 2 copies apiece. And then the six, seven, eight only have one copy a piece. So, obviously, having a higher value card will potentially win you the round because whoever has the highest number uh, still remaining at the end of a round wins. But also, every card has a different power, and the higher numbered ones tend to be a little bit more tricky and a little more difficult to manage. So, let's take a look at what we've got. The king. Oh, this is the other part about this app. It's pretty cool. Uh, little animations on the 
on the character is just like, I'm just gonna stand here. I'm just gonna lean back and forth a little bit. Like, I love it. Big fan. Uh, very slick. It looks nice. Um, so the king, if you play the king, oh, should say, you get a hand of two cards on your turn. You always have one in hand, one, and then on your turn you'll draw another. So you'll have two, and then you must discard one of them. And by discarding it, you're basically playing it. Uh, and you'll resolve its power. So I have the eight and the six. The six says, the king, trade hands with another player of your choice. Great. Fabulous, right? The problem is the princess is technically the winner card of the round, and there's nothing better than an eight, like nothing higher. And the princess says, if you discard this card, you're out for any reason. If I choose to play this card by discarding it right now, I lose. I'm out. So I have no choice but to play my king. So I have to target one of these two lovely gents with my king. Why don't we say, Halbert, you get my princess. So I'm going to trade him. So I know Halbert now has the princess. I am going to have to be careful about that. And you can see, oh, that just went by really fast, huh? Uh, I was going to try to explain. Oh, here we go again. So Donatello is playing a guard against me, where it says you, me. Uh, the guard says, name a non-guard card and choose another player. If they have that card, they're out. So you saw that Donatello chose me and picked two, which is the priest. I did not have a priest in hand, so challenge failed. I'm still in the round. Super straightforward, right? Like, the game is super simple. Uh, the Baron says that you and another player secretly compare hands. Player with the lower value is out for the round. Every card, just you basically read what it says, and you play one of the two cards in your hand until you're either knocked out or until there's no more cards left. And like I said, I think there's about 15 or 16 cards uh, in a round. So I know that Halbert has the princess because I gave it to him. So I'm going to pick Halbert. I'm going to select the princess. So you eight halbert crunch you're dead halbert you're my mind and now halbert's out i got some points for that because this game has a little achievement tracking stuff which is cool so he's playing a baron on me oh lame uh he apparently had a number four a handmaid in hand yep there you go which beat my three so he knocked me out there you go that's all that's one round of love letter done Super simple. Uh, handmade. Oh, it just showed the symbol there. Why don't we, now that I have one, uh, show handmade until your next turn. Ignore all effects from other players' cards. Super handy whenever people are being total dickwads like that guy. <clears throat> uh, the prince. Choose any player, including yourself, to discard his or her hand and draw a new card. So, can kind of do some shenanigans with the prince. It's kind of fun. The other thing that I really like about this implementation of the game is that, as you'll see on the left-hand side of the card, a couple stars there. Those stars tell you how many copies of that card have been played already that round. So two handmaids in play, uh, or I should not, I shouldn't say in play because technically neither of these are in play yet. But how many are, of, I guess, out in the wild that you know of? So the prince, this is the only one. So there's only a single star out of possible two. Uh, that way, if I ever wanted to target a prince or whatever, I could see that, like, oh, there's still one out there. Maybe Donatello's got it. I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and handmade. So I'm protecting myself, saving myself for the round. Uh, so the guard, fortunately, Donnie and I both played the handmade. Oh, Halbert. Halibert couldn't do nothing. So, all right. What do we think? That Donatello has. I'm gonna guess a Baron. I was wrong. Don't ever trust me. Just ever. I just don't. Oh snap. So Halbert had. Uh, whoa. Excuse me. So let's just. Uh, well, I'm up in my microphone. I'm obviously very rusty at this. But look at what just happened! Oh my god! Uh, Donatello is knocked out of the round because Halbert played a Baron, which Baron has you compare hands, 
the lower of the two numbers gets knocked out. And Donatello got knocked out with a seven. That means oh, Halibert can only have one card in hand. Boom. Mmm. That's right. You got Princess de Princess de Princess de de. Yeah, I got you. All right. So we got my first win of the round, and the winner gets to start the next round. I have no idea what anybody could have, so let's just guess that he has a handmaid. Uh, <laughs> yes! It's always super duper satisfying to just blind guess turn one, knock somebody out. Mm. Okay, so he's making me discard my hand, which is fine. I only had a guard. I drew another guard. Oh, so if he played a prince on me, he's either got a six, a seven, or an eight, probably. Probably. The odds tell me that I'm gonna take a gamble and I'm gonna say the Countess, number seven. Nope, the Countess is a weird card. She requires, oh wait, no, he couldn't have had the Countess. See, I'm dumb. Yep. No, Countess would have been the other way around. You'll see. Just take my word for it. I'm a dummy. Oh, I had a king. God, ugh, jerk. <sighs> okay, okay. You know what? I just wanted to make it even for everybody, so I'm just being fair. He thought I had a prince. <laughs> what a dingus! I clearly don't have a prince. Oh, we're getting feisty over there. All right, well, while we're just throwing blind accusations across the board, why don't we guess? Nope. Dang it. When in doubt, choose Baron. That's my life motto. Okay. Should have picked him before. I thought about it. All right, so he's looking at my hand with the priest. I got to show him my Baron. Well, let's uh, do the same to him. Okay, so he's got a four. All right. So we both just took a little peek at each other's hands. That's fine. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. what does he have? So he had a four and got knocked out. Hmm. Could be a prince. There's no princess played yet. That's going to be my pick. Nope. I was wrong. All right, all right. Let's see where these go. Oh, he has a countess. That means that he probably had a king. Oh, no, I drew the king. He might have just... Oh, that's hard. Hmm. He likely has the princess, or he just drew the countess. Well, we're going to make him swap hands with me. Aha! <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, he made me discard my hand. I'm out. Okay. It's ruthless. Ruthless game. Uh, love letter can be very cutthroat, as you can tell. Uh, especially when you are playing with other human beings. Um, it can get very vicious, very nasty. People just holding all sorts of vendettas and holding grudges against people, coming up with all sorts of excuses to eliminate people. It's bad. Uh, oh, so he had a he had a king. I'm really glad that I didn't use my baron and compare. Let's see, what is he going to do? Interesting. That's... Aw, uh, no. What did I play? I played a prince. Okay. I was confused there, like, why he picked that, but okay. Sure. Um. Oh boy. Do I think he has a seven or an eight? Basically, it's the only options he could have. Um, or I make him discard. Oh, man. Uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. Had to play the odds. He had a one. 
Perfect. You win. Perfect. I'm up to two victories. And it's the fr uh oh. Uh oh. Starting with the princess in your hand, generally, in my experience, means that you're probably not going to win this round because there's too many things that can go poorly here. Um, we'll take a peek see. At, oh, he also had a priest. Okay. That's not good because he's probably going to play that against me and look at my... Yep. Uh, uh, nope. He looked at Donatello's hand. Very fortunate indeed. Oh. He's claiming Baron against me, which I am not. I am still in it, but as soon as I... Uh, see? And here's where I give myself away by having to discard the seven. I have now telegraphed to the world. Please eliminate me. Or they can just eliminate each other. That's great. I'm totally okay with that. But I have a feeling that my time is coming to an end right... Yep, here it is. Oh, it hurts. So he forced me to discard the princess, which unfortunately for me means I am out because I lost the princess. I lost her. She's gone. She abandoned me. And I'll never deliver my love, my letter of love to her. Oh, what a jerk. Okay. Let's do... Oh, he's got a prince. I've got the other prince. <laughs> he doesn't know that. Let's see what Halbert does. He's playing his prince against me. Forcing me to discard my prince. And I get a baron instead. I can live with that. Ah, wow. Guessing straight for, straight for the eight. Gutsy, okay. Well, let's see. If he's playing a prince, what does he... Oh, never mind. He has a guard. I thought maybe he had something way cooler than that, but uh, apparently not. Um, well, they're too busy. Let me, oh, wow, he totally just nailed that guess. AI. Freaky. Uh, here's where, unfortunately, I am done. Because I have to baron, I have to baron myself. And a three against a, oh. Oh. Oh, I beat him. Oh, he had a one. Fabulous. I am the loveliest letter. Alright, well, I just need one more victory, and I've got this in the bag. I think we're going to be just fine. Let's see. You have a handmaid. Wrong. Dumb. Bad, Josh. Bad. Okay. Prince against Donatello. They sure like to target each other. That is for sure. Ooh, hello. Someone had to discard the Countess. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, only one way to find out. No. Interesting. Not the princess. That means that he probably has a prince. What a dingus. Why would you even play that? How... Yeah, you had a prince, obviously. You guys are dumb. Uh, let's just do a little handmade protection. Thank you. Let them target each other for a round. You're just about out of cards, so... Unfortunately, I, I think I'm going to be the last one to go here. Oh, boy. Hmm... I bet one of them has the princess. Who is it, though? Nobody has... Mm. So if nobody has the princess... So here's an interesting thing that I did not mention. Every round, one card out of the deck is placed out of the round. It is put aside, and it's not in play. So there is not 100% perfect information in each round. There's always one card not in play. If... If that one card is the princess, then by the process of elimination, I currently would have the highest card because the seven, the countess, has already been played and there's only one copy of the six. So do I gamble on that, which is pretty unlikely odds, but possible, 
Or do I swap hands and assume that someone else has got the princess? Hmm. Oh, well, we know that there's a baron still in play. There's still a handmaid still in play. Oh, boy. This is a tough decision. I'm... You know what? Let's do it. I'm going to swap hands with... Oh, no. Yep. Nailed it. Uh, uh, uh. That's right. I crushed that. Uh, that feels good. That's feeling good. Do -do 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 love letter tonight. Ow! Uh, so yeah, I, as you can tell, I played a gamble and it paid off. And that is exactly why Love Letter is such a dang good fun game. Let me tell you, uh, when things go according to plan and you deduce the information that is out there on the table and you get it right, ah, it's, oh, it's, it's like a lovely spaghetti bowl. It is so good. And when you're playing with your friends and you start just, and you know that your friend Brian has been holding onto that princess this whole game, and he's got a smug look on his face, and then you take it from him. <laughs> oh, Brian, you, you deserve that, Brian. Let me tell you, you deserved it. But yeah, that is Love Letter. Uh, some of the other things that you can do with this app include playing online. Uh, it does have some online features. You can play some private games by contacting uh, friends directly. Public multiplayer is just some uh, online matchmaking. Actually, I don't even know how... I think, yeah, it just kind of throws you into a random game. Uh, let's back out. I don't necessarily want to do that right now, but you can see it just kind of throws you in a game. Uh, there's no lobbies or anything like that. So um, you've got some leaderboards, which I really don't know what those are based on. I think just if you play a bunch... So I've got points from just like doing stuff. So I guess the more you play, you just get points. Um, you can log in to your Asmodee digital account, which pretty much every game uses these days. So why not? Uh, and then you've got ads for other Asmodee games, which there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of them. But that's it. Uh, it's a really simple but very nice uh adaptation of a really fun little card game uh it's pretty inexpensive um i think it's only on ios i don't know if it's actually on android could be mistaken on that but anyway uh that's love letter i hope you enjoyed and i will i will be back soon with more pocket meeple videos because i love you guys i really do you guys are pretty great i've gotten a lot of uh support a lot of people asking me when this was going to be coming back, and I knew it would. I always knew that it was in the works, but uh, just needed some time, you know, to kind of work through some stuff, you know, try to figure out some changes, some direction. My recording space here, my, my little office has is, is changed a lot. It wasn't really conducive to recording previously. Uh, so I'm just a lot better like with everything now and everything's good uh yeah so look forward to some more videos coming very soon and maybe some like new like new 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 stuff too not really sure exactly what that will be i kind of know what it's gonna be but like you don't really know what it's gonna be yet but just just stay tuned just uh you know subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff and then you'll be on top of it so until next time adios